vector databases are the next coolest things. Everyone is talking about it. And one of the most talked about vector databases, Pinecone. What is a vector database? A vector database acts as a long-term memory for large language models, which are the cornerstone of today's generative AI. So all the applications that use large language models or generative AI need semantic search. And for that semantic search, they need a vector store or a vector database. These vector databases store vectors, which made up, which contains embeddings. And embeddings are a type of data that represents this semantic information. If you're not aware of what exactly is a vector database and what, what is a vector and what are embeddings, I have another video where I explain these terms in very simple language with examples, and I will drop the link to that video in this video's description. In this video, I'm just focusing on how you can start using this Pinecone vector database in AWS and also using Python. The first step in this whole process is to go to pinecone.io which is their website and sign up with your email for free so as you can see on your screen i'm already on their database on their website and on the top right click on sign up free and then once the next screen appears all you need to do is to log in with your email address so i'm going to use my email And then it will send me a confirmation email, which I can use to sign up. So let me uh, click on sign up and then confirm it from my email, the code which I need to put in. Okay, so as you can see, as soon as I confirmed the code from my email, it logged me in and I am on the starter page of Pinecone. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to create an API key. So on the left hand side menu, click on API keys, and then you will be presented with this. You can either create a new key or you can use the default one. So I'm just going to copy uh, by clicking on this button, the default API key, because I'll be using this in my code. So click on this copy button. Cool. Okay, now, um, for this demo, I'm going to use AWS SageMaker Notebook instance. So let me go there and show you. So this is AWS SageMaker, um, and you need to log into your AWS account, go to Amazon SageMaker, and then on the left-hand side, scroll down in the Notebook instances, you need to create a Notebook instance, which is just a Jupyter Notebook, makes it very easy to play around with this sort of Python code where you're accessing these vector databases or LLMs. Um, I have another video where I discuss in detail how to use it, very simple to use by the way. Anyway, if you want to create a new one for yourself, click on this orange button and create the notebook instance. Um, I already have created one, so click on open Jupyter Lab and you'll be presented with this screen where you can see we have different kinds of notebook. For this demo, let's click on conda underscore Python three and it will bring us to this screen. And the advantage of using Conda underscore Python 3 is that it comes up with a lot of things pre-installed. Cool. Okay. Now the first thing which we need to do is to install the Pinecone client because we are going to use Python. So in this cell of notebook, put an exclamation mark and then write pip install Pinecone dash client and click on this play button and this is going to install our Pinecone client. So let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, and as long as you see this static here, it means that it is still running. Once it turns into a number, it would mean that it has finished. Okay, so it is number now one, so it is finished, cool. The next step is to import this Pinecone, which we have just um, installed and then initialize it with the API key and environment. So if you remember and go back to your console, you can see that we have this API key. Let me uh, copy it and then paste it here. So 
After replacing your API key, the next thing you need to grab is this environment from Pinecone interface. Also grab it and then paste it in your notebook. As you can see on my screen, I have replaced my API key, which I have obfuscated a bit and also my environment. And then you need to run this cell. Let me run it. So this step is also complete where I have imported the Pinecone. I have also imported TQDM and then I am setting my API key and my environment. Okay, let's go to the next step. In the next step, I'm creating an index in Pinecone with a name is Quick Start and it performs approximate nearest neighbor search using the Euclidean distance matrix for eight dimensional vectors. And I have um, taken this example from Quick Start Guide of Pinecone and I will also put the link to link into the video's description. So you don't have to type all the commands. So click here, it is running, so let it finish. It doesn't take too long. Sometimes I see that um, this takes around one minute or so, just depending upon the load on the hosted database, because one of the great benefit of Pinecone is that you don't have to provision any infrastructure. It's all on the hosted infra, which is a great thing. And while this command is running from this notebook, let's go to Pinecone's console on their website and see what is happening. On the left hand side, if you click on indexes, you will see that uh, we have the index name which we just created in our notebook and it is in the initializing state. And if we click on this index, it will tell you all about it, its monthly cost and also port fullness. So it means that it is running on Kubernetes, which is great. And all the stuff like regions, environment, um, how many replicas, and then uh, all the metrics about it. If there were any errors, latency, port fullness, and operations. Uh, and I'll be showing you in the next video how to do these operations like upset, query, update, fetch, delete in more detail. But let's wait for this index to finish, which takes a bit of a time to complete initializing. Okay, so the notebook tells us that this index creation is finished because this number, we have this number now. Now let's quickly check on the console. So the status is ready, which is awesome. And if we click on this index, then it is going to show us if the, um, all the bars with the vector count request and all that stuff. Cool. And we don't have any Thing here yet because we haven't used it. Now, the first thing which we need to do after creating an index is to connect to it. But before we do that, let's, let's list them to see how many indexes we have. So find cone dot list indexes. So it has given us this index. This is good. Now, this is the uh, command to connect to index. So before, after creating it and before using it, you need to connect to it. So just click here and now you are connected. Okay, now let's query it and in order, um, or before, sorry, before curing it, we need to ingest or enter the vectors with the upset operation. So let me do the upset. So we will use, so this object index and then dot upset. And these are, these are the vectors or embed the whole, this is the whole embedding. And these are the vectors which we are putting in our Pinecone vector database in this index. So click here and the upset counted is equal to five and there were no errors. If we go to go back here and just refresh this page on Pinecone's website, let's see what it tells us. Okay, so let's wait for it. Okay, so you can see that now we have um, how many uh, how many requests came here? Vector count. So we have five vectors we, which we have just entered in our one embedding, and then it is telling us the latency, which is okay at the moment because I'm on the free tier. And then this is the port fullness. How much I think port is okay, and then 
Uh, these are the operations which we can also perform from here, but that is fine. Let's go back to our notebook. Okay, so asserted count is here. Let's move on to the next operation. I'm going to get the statistic about my index by using this command, which we just saw on the console. So index dot describe index stat. Run it here, and it is going to show us the, how many dimensions we have used, and then if index is full or not, namespaces, there are five vectors, and then so on and so forth. Okay. Um, now, in the next example, I'm going to show you how to query the index for the first three vectors that are most similar to an example eight dimensional vector. And the command is very simple. So, index.query, we have just given it a vector and then top k or the top three vectors. So, let's run it. So there you go, it has returned us only top three vectors. Now, when you don't need an index, which is always a good idea because it's a free tier and let's not abuse the resources which Pinecone has graciously given us. So in order to delete index, in, index just uh, write pinecone.delete underscore index and run it. So it is going to delete it. If we go back to Pinecone and just refresh this page it should reflect this delete status very soon okay so it's already gone which is awesome okay yep so creation takes time deletion is very quick which is awesome let me also quickly show you the quick start guide which i was referring to so this is the guide which i have followed and um, again heads off to pinecone for putting all this beautiful and very easy to understand guide together. I will also drop the link in video's description. <clears throat> Not only this quick start guide, but there are a lot of examples which you can follow and run these commands. And you don't have to use the notebook if you don't want to. You can use your Linux instance. You can even, I believe, use Git Bash on Windows or even VS Code. You can use these examples. Plus you can even use Google Colab. So a lot of options here. I will be doing more and more videos on this point cone because I believe this is one of the um, very stable and mature vector database out there. So I hope that it helps you out. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.